Right, I'm in the very new Exim Parish Council Cemetery. I was looking for a bench, but there's one up there. I'll stop there and have my sandwich in a minute and a can of Coke. I might do it first and then I'm going to go over there and have a brief look. So that I've, I've had a nice walk up Lacey Lane and other places. And, um, it's, like I said, it's very dull. It's very hot. And once I get back to the car, I'm going straight to Burwell. Um, because you've got to remember, they shut churches about four o'clock. So this is just really a token visit. And I'm going to sit on the Exxon Memorial seat. Dedicated to Jennifer M. Cope, 1950-1922. to Always in our thoughts, in love and memory of. Right, Jennifer, I'm going to have some lunch. You're two years older than me. I'm just going to sit here for a minute and have a sandwich. I'm just going to turn off the little video. This is just an introduction. Right then, here I am in the new cemetery at Exxon. Exxon's Parish Council off Lacey Lane. Okay. So I'm just, what I'm going to do, I've got the camera ready to take pictures of if we identify anybody. It is starting to have the odd spit of rain. So I want to get this done. It's all part of the visit to feel the place. Burwell's just over there. There's a road running there. It's all coming back to me now. It's another way into Burwell. It's like you can do a complete loop. Right. We just have a quick look because it could thunder and lightning for all I know. There's lots of kings up here, isn't there? Some of these people buried here weren't here when I came last time I came here with Zara. The last time I came here was either 2005 or 2006. And most people here weren't here. There was hardly anybody here when I came. These are all people who've died in the 20s. Probably that one could have been there. Mm. Most of these were not here. Okay, so, and none of these here. That's what I said, it's filled out a bit. So, there's a mason there. We'll do a mason because Masons, Elizabeth Mason married Thomas Brooks, don't forget. And what that meant was, um, that's a big grave there, isn't it? The size of that one. So we are, there are masons about. We've not really done anything on the mason tree though. Oh, no, no. There's a moon over here. I do moons because it is a weird name, an unusual name, I think. And you never know, it could link up with them. Um, Because they're all new, you can really see the names clearly from here. Um, and there's plenty of room. Like I said, there's plenty of room. I can see a hawk really hovering strangely, unless it's a kite over there. It doesn't no, it's gotta be a kite, surely. Hovering like that. I can't be a bird. Right, I'm gonna move on. I just um turn the that one off for a minute and we're just gonna walk on down. Like I say, most people here 
You look like, in like 2012 seems a long time ago, but I've been here before that. So you're talking, we're talking about two. There was hardly anyone here. I think it was what, two graves, maybe. Keith, there's one somebody who died in 2007. They, the ones over there, could have been here. Anyone with 2006, 2007, or two th even 2005, this one here would have been here. Look. These here, 2006, and this one, 2006, and 2005, yeah. Pearson sort of rings a bell, but it's more on my kids on their dad's side, when they think of Pearson, than on mine. Yeah, any with anyone that's two thousand six that old fashioned stone, no colour, plain. Two thousand. That would have been here. All these would have been here. This was not that one, but the one next to it. David, but Betty followed ten years later, look. He would have been here, Ryan John Martin. Well, these are the very, very early ones that were here when I first came, everyone. Well, I've moved on. I'm still coming back. Right, that's it. That's it, everyone. We just walk up the middle. So, like I said, most of these were not here when I came in 20 years, 18, 18, 20 years. So this is going to take a while to fill up, isn't it? Where are they going to bring people from Newmarket here? Now I'm going to walk back to the car now. I've had one, I've had a part of me sandwich. It's working out all right. I've done um, had six musgraves. That's really good to find six musgraves. Um, and some that fought and died in the war as well, don't forget. So, I'm sure that Henry Musk is buried there, but I couldn't find the grave. But I got a feeling he is buried there. So this is Sheila on the 4th of August 2024 at Exin in Suffolk, near Newmarket, out on one of her field trips that she's longed to do, because I haven't been down to, well I haven't visited here for 20, 18 years, and yeah I don't know how I would have got up. Unless you go through that gate there, walk all the way across, no way. That's probably what she thought I'd have to do. He said it would be quicker. I don't think so. It's good to do the field work. Not with brilliant cameras. And who knows if they're going to turn out properly. I'm going to turn off now. And I'm going to walk back to the car. Right, I'm now going down Church Lane. I'm doing a bit of exploring. A gentleman told me to avoid going towards the White Horse Pub. Keep to the left by the stream. Keep going. And then you'll reach Duck Lane, which is, comes out near the church. It's just another way of finding your way around. This exciting little place. With its pretty little wildflowers, look. Lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I like doing um, exploring different places because you never, otherwise, you never know anything about a place and it's little back lanes or anything. Stop knowing me, though, I'll take the wrong turning because he said, "Don't go near the pub." I probably will. He said, "Keep left."
Yeah, so I've come along there. Church Lane, this is. So if this is Church Lane, it should take me to the church, shouldn't it? And there's the. Oh, yeah, there's the stream. He said, keep to the stream when you're left. Don't divert. Don't go over the bridge, he said. Oh, let's have a look in here then. Now, I wouldn't have known that if he hadn't told me. Right, I I think he said don't go over the don't go over the bridge, but I wouldn't have known, would I? Brookside, what a good idea! It's very clear, isn't it? Yeah, I can see the odd fish in there. Keep going on, he said. Is that my car? My God, what a quick way. Do you know what? That's my car there. How quick was that? That was probably five to ten times quicker. That was really quick. Back where I never knew about. Brookside. Wow, that is quick. Much quicker than the way I went. Much quicker. Christ, the way I went was. Do you know what? I've lost, me, I've lost uh, direction. Have you? Yeah. Totally lost direction because I went out of there, round there. Now I've got to go down this way. How does that work out then? How is it I work, walk that way? So basically I went right, I must have gone right round like that. My God, you've done quite a big walk, Shell. Much bigger than you thought, isn't it? And we're back, look. Let's have one more walk round the church. Shall we? And then we'll go, because we won't be coming back. It could be 20 years again, or less Sara wanted to come. And then we'll go. One more little walk. We'll walk right round the edge. I can't believe it. I went out there and I walked down that way, right the way round. Went to the shop. Came back, walked up there. Why can't I get? I just popped down that little lane. I can't believe it. I couldn't believe how quick that was. I just can't believe it. So we're just having another little quick look. Round St Martin's because I don't know when I'll be back. We don't know who half these graves are. I haven't seen a musk in here. It's not to say there isn't one, but I haven't seen a musk in here. That was probably some sort of private, do you reckon that was a private area? in there. Looks like an old stone there, doesn't it? Yeah, I bet that was a private, private place. It's all fenced off, look. Of 
Because what you've got to remember is that we, when we first came here, we weren't aware of um, musks, really. Only that it sounded strange. What a funny name, we thought. So something said, oh, just walk around again, chill. You've got plenty of time. You've got like six hours. There's one I want to do, actually. Charles Burgess and... Beloved son of James Avis Webber. John Johnson. Yeah, I'm just actually going round again. One last little look. Like I said, I don't know what the footage should turn out like because I've been swinging the camera, I've been up and down. And that, yeah. Somewhere there's buried Henry Musk, though. Now we better put, we better photocopy this one, um, photo this one because this is one of the Cotton family. A lot of them were buried at uh, up at um, Lambwade Hall and within the church as well. Oh, it's a frost. We better do Ambrose Frost. Because um, we didn't know about frost when we first done this, pla this place either. Lots of pirates, isn't there? Like I said, I wasn't going to do any of these, but uh, more names have surfaced in over the 20 year period, you see. Henry Wesley, Rolf Wesley, and they've got big, he's got a very big tomb, hasn't he? You know what I mean? He's got quite a big tomb. Oh, look at the size of that. Wesleys were quite... I don't know if that's the John Wesley. That's Wesley, isn't it? It's, 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 um, Wensley, Wesley, Wesley. Yeah. And of course we've got the Brook Graves up here. Some were far more clearer when I came before and someone had actually done one up and it looked really good um, I mean George Brooks sticks out really well but these are Brooks as well and that one there Elizabeth and John Brooks that's one of my ancestors one of my great 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 grandparents back in time and we got um Porter Brooks just down here as well. The Fice and Graves. Just going back over it. Because I'm doing this, I'm doing this because I know that it's very you know I well, even when I used to come back I never always did this this church. 
And the reason for that is because I'd already done it. The door's still open though. The door's still open. Right, over and out folks.